And now, first worn five weather. 949 this morning, and don't let these temperatures fool you because it's still extremely humid out there. And when we get those humid conditions and temperatures in the 80s, well, it's actually going to feel like it's in the 90s. So the thermometer is saying it's 83 in Port Isabel and McAllen, 82 in Brownsville, 85 in Harlingen. But that dew point, well, it's sitting at around 76 degrees right now. And when that happens, we're in the very humid category. We continue to climb to the top of that very humid category. And it's actually going to feel like it's in the low 90s in most places, upper 80s, low 90s. Winds out of the southeast, southeast right now at around 11 miles per hour. And that was east southeasterly winds. Well, they brought in a lot of golf moisture, and it sure did pay off because places in Star County, western part of Hidalgo County, even some of the eastern part of Hidalgo County, getting some rain this morning. Unfortunately, though, if you're in Cameron, Willacy counties, you weren't so lucky. So if you got rained on, consider yourself lucky, and here's why. There's a front starting to sweep through the state of Texas. Now, there's a dry line sitting around right there, and that dry line is actually sparking up a lot of instabilities. Cooling things down though, 61 in Abilene, 51 in Amarillo, but I don't want to get your hopes up because this front's going to stall out as it makes its way to around San Antonio and head back north as a warm front. It'll be another breezy day today. Winds out of the east or southeast, all of them on the upwards of around 12 miles per hour. Some places will see wind gusts of around 20 miles per hour today. Now 91 is our average high for this time of year. We slid slightly above that at 92, 93, and 93 for today, Monday, and Tuesday. But because of that humidity, it's going to feel like it's in the mid to upper 90s. We're nowhere near the records. We're not going to touch those. Those are safe. And we stay only slightly above that because of increased cloud cover and rain chances. So today, 30% chance of rain. That rain's starting to go away. Tomorrow, some lingering showers in the morning because there is a chance of rain late tonight into tomorrow morning. And then Tuesday, it's a small chance, so I'm going to stay mainly dry. I'm not even going to put a percentage on there. I don't want to get anyone's hopes up because it's around a 10% chance or a less than 10% chance in most places. So 92, 93, and 93 for the next couple of days. We have breezy conditions. We lose those breezy conditions, but check that out. We just continue to increase in temperature Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday, where we're finally hitting 100 degrees on Saturday. The day has come. It's forecasted to be 100 degrees. We're going to continue tracking these high temperatures for you, and that's your first 4 and 5 forecast. Frank?